Hello everyone. To become a Google for Education Certified Trainer, you have to clear three exams. So the first exam will be Educator Level 1, second exam will be Educator Level 2 and another one is like Training Assessment, Trainer Assessment Skills. In this, it is not of any other, any order, okay. So for example, you can first complete Level 2 exam and then you can write Level 1 exam and then you can write Trainer Skills Assessment exam. So it is not like any order. but of course, if you want to become a Google for Education certified trainer or an innovator, you can find all the programs here. This is a trainer program, this is an innovator program, and this is a coach program. So if you want to become any one of this, you have to clear these three exams, Educator Level 1, Level 2, and Trainer Skill Assessment Test. So in this video, I'll show you what are all the skills that you have to master if you want to write the exam before writing the exam you should check the, whether you know all these things even if you don't know you can learn it okay so this is the skill set where you can find that you have to know all these things you should know what is g suit and google drive in google drive you should know how to create a file access a file organize a file working with office files uploading converting file offline access sharing files with a specific people sharing non-google files sharing file as a link creating and managing folders and sharing a resource folder. Why it is very specific? Because it will be more or less, it will be like a practical, okay? So you have to create a Google Drive, uh, uh, that is you have to create a file in a Google Drive and you should share with the person with some edit access or a commenter access or the viewer access. So you should know all these things of course, we are now dealing with completely a Google based or G Drive based workspace. So we are working with that. So I hope you all might come across these things in your daily regular basis. So it is not a big deal to write the Google Educator Level 1 exam. Just if you go through, these are the Google document in Google Docs, what are the topic you should know? And in Google Sheet, what are the topic you should know? These are all basics. Okay, so you don't want to worry about uh, too much. And these are all like why how to create a form, how to add uh, the options like MCQs, questions into the form. So these are all basics. And Google Slides. So what you should know in Google Slide and what should you know in Google Classroom. Uh, Gmail, how you can send a mail, how to create a filter, how to create, a, uh, how to archive any file. Like that you have various options and then contact. How to manage a contact. What is a Google group? What is a Google chat? What is a Google Meet? Google Calendar, how to work with all these things, Google Task, Google Keep, Google Site, how to create a website for you or for your class or for anything else. Like you can create a website and you can share it. It is very public. Okay. You can preview and publish it. And this is a Google Chrome. This is Google Search, YouTube, how to create a YouTube channel, how to make it a private, public, everything. And Google Earth, Science Journal, Google Help, Digital Citizenship. In this, while I was writing the exam, I wrote the exam, will appear for the exam. I didn't find much question from Google Science, okay? And I didn't get any questions from Google Earth, fine? So, digital citizenship is important, like everyone should know, even if you are uh, students or if you are dealing with a class grade one students, you should teach them what is digital citizenship. So, these are all the basics for Google Educator Level 1 exam. If you want to learn all these things, I can teach you everything like from the from for for example, first video will be on Google Drive where I'll be covering all these things. If you want to know, I can upload videos on these topics definitely. So please leave your comment if you want to learn this, you can let me know. I'll upload these videos. And uh, for Google Educator Level 1, even if you want to uh, learn it through Google itself, you can do it. So this is the link where you can find Educator Level 1. Click on the Educator Level 1. And this is how you can click and register for the exam. And this is three years validity. You have to be there for 180 minutes. That is, exam is for 180 minutes. And you have to pay $10 to write the exam. Of course, it is very useful. So I want you all to try this. And this is what the training, if you click start training, so it will start from the fundamentals, whatever we have covered, whatever I have showed there, you will learn from here as well, but it is everything will be 
in a <clears throat> textual manner okay for example this is a classroom technology expand using help and learn mostly paperless classroom so to create a quizzes google form here here you go you have all the content over here so you can just go and see what is that uh, within how many uh, minutes you can complete this lesson okay and this is learn how to create a google form so here it will show you like how you can create a google form and uh, uh, make it as a quiz or uh, everything so it will be like this if you want to learn through a video you can let me know and there will be a scenario like this only you'll be getting in your exam so what is the scenario and what you have to do okay so just try try these things if you want to know more about it let me know in my next video i'll be posting about what are the topics you have to learn in google educator level 2 okay and once after completing this what you have to do that is the next step uh, writing the training assessment skill that also i'll be uh, telling you and then how to apply how to um, apply for uh, the google certified trainer program <clears throat> take care bye bye